everyone. I'm Marisol Ryu, and I'm a product manager in Chrome OS. I'm thrilled to be here today at Google I.O. with the developers we work with every day to make Chrome OS better. So thank you for joining us today. Before we get started on all that's new, we wanted to reflect on why we do what we do on Chrome OS. And for us, the goal hasn't changed since we began our journey nearly 15 years ago. Our mission has always been building simple yet powerful computing for everyone. After all, computers are so much more than just devices. They're how people explore curiosity, connection, creativity, and that's even more true today than it was 15 years ago. Millions of people use Chromebooks and the apps and games you build for Chrome OS every single day. That's why over the past year, we've been working with developers to help more people get their hands on powerful computing and apps. And we've got a great team here with me today to tell you all about it. We'll start by sharing why we think it's such an exciting time for developers to be building for Chrome OS. And then we'll share how we've been working with developers to improve our two main app platforms, the web and Android. And along the way, we'll celebrate some of the amazing experiences our developer partners have already brought to life. Giving the world access to computing means giving the world access to computers. And over the years, personal computing has been getting, well, a lot more personal. We use our devices for so many different things and in so many different ways. And while a simpler device works for some, others need a laptop that offers that next level of performance. So we've evolved our work with our OEM partners to deliver an entirely new premium tier of Chromebooks that we're calling Chromebook Plus. Just last year, Just last year, we rolled out eight new devices in our Chromebook Plus debut lineup with Acer, Asus, HP, and Lenovo. The Chromebook Plus laptops you see here have double the performance of our top selling devices from 2022. And staying true to our mission of making powerful computing available for everyone, these Chromebook Plus devices have a starting price of just $399. There's another reason why we're calling Chromebook Plus our premium tier. We're integrating the best of Google AI right into these laptops. Tools like Help Me Write are one of many ways we'll leverage AI to be more helpful for our users in their daily tasks. Chromebook Plus users in the US will soon be able to use this feature to write or edit short form content, including blog post titles and YouTube video descriptions. Our vision with AI is empowering everyone to better create, collaborate, and connect in a way that feels intuitive. So as we continue to enhance Google AI, we'll prioritize building for everyday use cases with both server-side and on-device innovation. Which brings us to our most powerful Chromebook Plus device yet, the Asus ExpertBook CX54. This is our very first Chromebook Plus laptop to run on Intel's Core Ultra processors. As you might already know, these processors are Intel's first AI system on chip with a dedicated processing unit for AI workloads. We are just at the beginning of our Chromebook Plus journey, so stay tuned for more. As we expand our Chromebook suite and capabilities, we're also rolling out new Chrome boxes like the Lenovo Chromebox Micro. Launched just last December, the Lenovo Chromebox Micro is our very first pocket-sized Chromebox. You can mount it anywhere, even behind large format displays. Putting on-screen content like your apps front and center, not the hardware. From Chrome boxes to Chromebooks, the new additions to our device portfolio extend your reach and improve how heavy-duty apps and games run. So we're doing more to help folks get, their, get the most out of their devices, no matter which Chromebook they pick up. 
And that's why all Chromebooks released from 2021 and onwards will get regular automatic updates for 10 years. That's right, 10 years. That's long enough to take a student from the second grade all the way to high school graduation. So if you build four Chrome OS, you're building for an ecosystem committed to long-term improvements. As we extend our device portfolio, we're also further tailoring Chromebooks to better serve our users. For instance, many people use Microsoft 365 on their laptops. So we made it easier to install and open Microsoft 365 with an integrated setup experience. This guides our users through installing Microsoft 365 web apps and integrating OneDrive directly into our Chromebook Files app. And having easy access to files is especially important for students and teachers, whether they're writing essays or putting together lesson plans. And ever since they launched, Chromebooks have played a central role in classrooms all over the world. More than 50 million students and teachers use your apps and games in the classrooms to transform classrooms into production studios, science labs, and more. And our web developers play an outsized role in how students are learning both in the classroom and at home, with the vast majority of learning content that students use every day being web-based. And with so many schools sending student students home with Chromebooks in their backpacks every day, this means that students have more time than ever to explore and create using your apps. So if you're interested in building for the millions of students using Chromebooks every day, we've got a vast range of tools and resources for you. And a great place to start is our Google for Education App Hub. Check it out at the link you see here. Let's look at a couple highlights, starting with our app licensing program. This program simplifies license management by enabling school admins to purchase licenses directly from you. With the app licensing program, you can also deploy your apps at scale through our, through our Google Admin Console using the same APIs as some of our top app developers, including Adobe, Bloxels, Concepts, and Figma. And next up, our Classroom Add-ons program. This program makes it easy for students and teachers to access your content and tools directly all within Google Classroom. Many web apps like iXL, Kahoot, Nearpod, and Pear Deck are already part of this program, and we hope you'll join them soon. We've got even more resources for you in our Google for Education App Hub. So if you're interested in joining either program, reach out to us through the form you see here. Beyond education, we're also focused in helping businesses thrive with simple and powerful computing. Countless of businesses trust Chrome OS to power everything from shared workstations at hospitals to self-service kiosks at restaurants, not to mention the millions of workers using Chrome OS every single day. And we don't take this trust for granted. It's why we're always making Chrome OS more secure and more capable. We're proud to share that as of this year, Chrome OS has never had a single reported ransomware attack ever. In a recent pen test published by a treatise, deemed Chrome OS the most secure OS out of the box when compared to Windows 11 and Mac OS. So if you're building for enterprises running on Chrome OS, you can rest easy knowing that they're using your apps in a secure environment. On top of building a secure OS, we've also created two dedicated programs for enterprise developers. The Chrome Enterprise Connectors Framework and the Chrome Enterprise Recommended Program. The Chrome Enterprise Connectors Framework is a collection of connectors and APIs that simplify how enterprise developers integrate their solutions with Chrome Browser and Chrome OS. We've partnered with industry-leading providers to build connectors and APIs across five areas, including identity and access and data protection. And some recent providers to join our Chrome Enterprise Connectors Framework include CrowdStrike, Okta, and Splunk. Next up, 
the Chrome Enterprise Recommender Program. It allows businesses identify solutions that have been validated to work well for both Chrome Browser and Chrome OS. And it, we have more than 80 solutions validated across a range of tracks, including security and trust, virtualization, and kiosk and digital signage. And since last year's Google I.O., we've added 50 new solutions, including Avaya, Cisco Umbrella, and WorkSpot. To learn more about the program, check it out at the link you see here. That's just a taste of how Chrome OS is working in the world today to empower businesses, schools, and consumers alike. And their Chrome OS experience wouldn't be the same without the apps that you have built. So to help developers thrive on Chrome OS, we're building better tools, more features, and more advanced capabilities. To tell you more about it, I'll pass it off to my teammate, Sam Richard. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sam Richard, and I'm a developer advocate for Chrome OS. You might know me from my work on progressive web apps and advanced web capabilities. I also run Chrome OS.dev, our one-stop shop for docs, platform updates, and more. Today, I'm excited to share what we've been doing on Chrome OS to make Chrome OS better for your developers, or for you, our developers. At the heart of this work is elevating our two primary platforms the web, and Android. Thanks to new APIs that enhance installability and unlock new powerful capabilities, your web apps are closer to native apps than ever before, all with the unmatched reach the web is known for. And the Android ecosystem is evolving, too. It's getting more and more adaptive across screen sizes and form factors, with Chrome OS offering the most comprehensive and capable Android desktop experience available. Developers have been making the most of these platforms increased capabilities to create engaging apps and games. And it's clear folks can't get enough. There are more than 100 million monthly web app users across all platforms for Chrome browser. And around the world, there are over 300 million active Android large screen devices, including foldables, tablets, and of course, Chromebooks. To help you make the most of this momentum, we've been improving the way we connect you with your users, all while rolling out new tools and features you can use to build better experiences for them. Let's take a closer look, starting with the latest updates to app discovery on Chrome OS. While a lot of people start looking for apps in the Play Store, Google Search is also a super popular app discovery. Many folks who start their journeys in search wind up on your website. That's why we're excited to announce today our new Add to Chromebook badge. It works with both PWAs and Android apps. You can add this badge to your site right now to let people know they can use your app with their Chromebook. We'll show how in just a minute. We're also introducing a new Chrome OS app URL you can use with these to link directly to your app. As you can see here, when a user clicks the Add to Chromebook badge, for an Android app, it'll open up the Play Store uh, to let your users learn more about your app and download it directly. For PWAs, though, this works a little bit differently. The Add to Chromebook badge, when coupled with the Chrome OS app URL, lets your user install your PWA from anywhere. This really is a game changer. In the past, folks could only install your PWA if they were already on it inside a browser tab. This restriction is now gone for PWAs on Chrome OS. With our new badge and the Chrome OS app URL, people can install your PWA from your homepage, from a marketing page, from an app listing, really, you name it. Anywhere users can find your PWA becomes a place they can now download and install it. This combination of our new badge and the Chrome OS app URL also uses our new classic desktop OS-like install wizard. This is a little bit different than the, the general install wizard, because, um, well, it looks like a classic OS wizard. It'll even display your PWA's name, description, icons, and screenshots if you've got your web app manifest set up for richer UI installs. 
we're planning to fully launch the Install From Anywhere experience starting around Chrome OS 125. But you can start using the Add to Chromebook badge today to make your Chrome OS optimized Android app more installable and more discoverable, or to replace your custom in-app PWA install experience. To get started, head on over to chromeos.dev slash badge. There you'll find our brand and usage guidelines, tips for placement, and two ways you can add it to your site. The first way is to download all of our assets and hook it up yourself. The second way is to use our new badge generator. It'll create an HTML snippet you can put directly on your page. And while you're on chromeos.dev slash badge, you can also reach out for help getting set up with a Chrome OS app URL for yourself. We're excited to help you make your Chrome OS app easier to discover, and we're not the only ones. 18 partners have either already implemented the Add to Chromebook badge or are committed to doing so once the PWA install experience rolls out. Improving your app's discovery, discoverability is just the first step to reaching users around the world. To connect with the millions of users on Chrome OS who use your app today, you need to optimize for Chromebooks. That's exactly what Boostroid did. As one of the biggest cloud gaming providers in the world, Boostroid makes high-end PC gaming available even on devices that aren't traditionally thought of as gaming rigs. This made building a PWA for Chrome OS a perfect fit. Doing so only took Boostroid a, a few weeks. While optimizing for Chromebooks, the Boostroid team made multiple tweaks, including resizing their game control overlay to better fit Chromebook screens and testing with tons of different controllers to make sure everything worked. This ensured Chrome OS gamers would have a native-like gaming experience, even through the cloud. To help boost discovery, Boostroid also packaged their PWA for Google Play. They integrated Google Play billing to add seamless subscriptions and used it to create an exclusive free tier for those signing up through Play. By optimizing for Chromebooks and adding Google Play support, Boostroid increased its Chrome OS user base by 60% year over year and Chrome OS play time by 30%. On top of improving discovery, we're also making installed apps even more powerful. Our research shows that users view installed apps running in their own window as more powerful than those running in browser tabs. Despite this, we've heard from partners that are reluctant to make their apps installable because their users rely on multitasking, like when working with docs or design files. But what if you didn't need to choose between installability and tabs at all? That's a question we've been thinking a lot about. So today, we're excited to share the new tabbed mode for PWAs on Chrome OS. It allows you to offer the best of both worlds, your web app installed with a productivity boost of tabs. It's available today as an origin trial, and we're looking to fully launch it around Chrome OS 126. To enable PWA mode, start by adding a display override property to your web app manifest. This takes an array of strings. Add tabbed into it, that's it. <laughs> that's all you need to do. As long as your display isn't set to browser, you'll have a tab PWA. You can also control whether there's a home tab, what paths get captured in that home tab, and what URL opens when a user creates a new tab. Our new support for tab PWAs is so powerful, it's a big reason why Figma today, this morning, launched their very own PWA. We know a ton of Chrome OS users, especially students and teachers, love using Figma to create and collaborate. The team had previously stayed in browser because the majority of Figma's users relied on tabs to quickly access multiple files at the same time. With Figma's new PWA, complete with tabs on Chrome OS, users now have the benefit of PWA's direct access and standalone window without compromising the workflow their users rely on. With tab PWA mode, Figma users can quickly view all their files in the Home tab, open a file in a new tab, move their tabs around however they'd like. Working on a PWA or working in Figma in a PWA feels familiar, just like they were working in a browser. Whether folks are navigating back and forth between files or searching for past projects, they can use these tabs to stay organized. We're excited by how Figma is delivering better app experiences on Chromebooks with our tabbed PWA mode, and I can't wait to see how you do the same. Whether you're looking to add your Chromebook, uh, add, get your Add to Chromebook badge, 
add tabs to your PWA, or start your journey optimizing your app for Chrome OS, Chrome OS.dev should be the place you start. There you'll find documentation for building, optimizing, and publishing your apps for Chrome OS, plus tips, tricks uh, for using your Chrome OS as a development device. You'll also find the latest news from us and use cases full of inspiration straight from top app developers. Just in time for Google I.O., we've relaunched Chrome OS.dev on a new code base. It's now faster than it ever has been with a bunch of new features. And the most striking one, dark mode. First launched as an Easter egg with our redesign two years ago, dark mode is finally available for everyone. It looks like an old school terminal. Our whole team has giant smiles every time we see it, and we hope you'll love it as much as we do. We've also started publishing release notes last year, and we see they've been a really big hit with you. So now we're making them easier to find. We've compiled them all into our new release notes section, which will help you keep up to date with our latest platform updates. You can find these at chromeos.dev slash releases. I know we've gone through a ton of developer updates, so let's take a second to recap. Our new Add to Chromebook badge improves discoverability of your apps and makes PWAs installable from everywhere. The launch of tab mode lets you give your PWA multitasking superpowers. And we've made Chrome OS.dev even better for learning how to build and optimize for Chrome OS and diving deeper into everything we're talking about today. I can't wait to see how you'll use these tools to make your app shine. But we're not done just yet. We've got Emily Roberts here to walk us through what's new for Android and game developers on Chrome OS. Please welcome her to the stage. Great job. Hey, everyone. As I was preparing for this talk, I realized that the first time I was on this stage talking about Android apps on Chrome OS was six years ago already, or only. I'm not sure which one of those two. And uh, so much has changed since then. When I first started testing large screen apps, or testing apps on large screens, most of them would be stretched and squashed completely beyond recognition if they didn't crash outright. And that has definitely changed for the better. Um, and we've come, we've come on our side so far in making the platform work reliably and look great. And uh, improvements to Android APIs and Jetpack libraries have taken Android itself to the next level. But something else that has really changed is the work you all have done to make apps more resilient and more capable beyond phones. So thank you really, for all the work you've done to make apps work great in desktop-y, resizable, convertible, foldable environments. Let's take a look at Android on Chrome OS today. If you're uh, using an Android phone, Chromebooks are a great companion. We launched app streaming last year to allow users to use their Android apps and stream them right to their Chromebooks. So if you were finishing up a message or wanted to check the status of a food order or a ride share, you could do it right on your laptop without having to pick up the phone. This just gives more ways for users to interact with your app, which can lead to increased app usage and completed user journeys. To give your apps the best app streaming experience possible, make sure you're optimizing for keyboard and mouse inputs. But let's talk about running Android apps right on your Chromebooks. Almost the entire fleet is already on Android 11, and we've begun migrating to Android 13. For users, Android 13 brings lots of new features, like the updated uh, privacy indicators and the new notification pipeline. And for developers, there are some new features, including uh, the ability to leverage material use support for custom M3 color schemes. On top of all these Android platform enhancements, Jetpack improvements are also making it easier to design fluid UIs. For example, uh, we have our new Compose library for bu building adaptive apps with material guidance. Let's, it's now in beta, so you can check it out. And it provides drop-in layout components that are really easy to populate and modify. The new library handles size and posture changes for you, as well as navigation and animation. To dive into the details, check out the recorded talk, Building UI with the Material 3 Adaptive Library. 
And whichever devices your app is running on and whatever your implementation looks like under the hood, the very most important thing you can do today is make sure your app meets the Android large screen guidelines. These guidelines are for Android tablets, foldables, and desktop devices like Chromebooks. So you just have to optimize once, and you should be good to go. We've divided the guidelines into three tiers, from basic to best, depending on user impact and developer lift. So let's take a look through them. The most basic tier is large screen ready. In this tier, apps should maintain state across resizing and rotation, and they should have basic input support. So if you have a chat app, you press enter, it should send the message. Apps in the next category have appropriate layouts for different screen sizes with enhanced input support. And finally, we have large screen differentiated apps. These apps feel completely tailored to Chromebooks. They handle things like drag and drop, screen fold detection for foldables, media keys, low latency styli, or really anything that would make your specific app really shine. And the guidelines um, do more than just outline expectations. They provide a checklist of tests you can use to make sure your app is actually meeting the bar. Let's take a look quickly at the tier three guidelines to see how this works and how you can actually use it in practice. On the left hand, we have the category you're optimizing for, configuration and continuity. Then we have items listed C1 and C2. These are the attributes your app needs to have in order to meet each guideline. So maintaining state across resizing and rotation. You don't want to lose a long text or an email just because the user rotates the device. OK, great. We know that. But here's where the guidelines get really practical. There is a list, a checklist of tests that you can use to make sure you're really meeting the bar. Here is the list of tests for the C1 and C2 we just saw. Your engineering and QA teams can use these tests to make sure you're at the level you need to be. And how do you do that testing? Well, if you don't have a Chromebook in front of you, you can use the desktop emulator. That is available in Android Studio since Electric Eel. Set it up, you just go to the Android Virtual Device Manager, create new, and choose the desktop type. However, emulators are awesome, but there's nothing like testing on a real device. Uh, if you want to know what the user experience is on your apps, go out and get a Chromebook. When testing on physical devices, most developers are using Android Debug Bridge, ADB, our favorite tool, using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And personally, this last year, I've been really involved in trying to make ADB over USB a much better experience. We're, using, we're doing that using a technology in the USB 3 spec called Debug Class Specification, or DBC. This will make ADB over USB much easier to use, more resilient, and work across a broader range of Chromebooks. I really hope that we'll be launching it soon, uh, sometime this year, so stay tuned for that. Testing and optimizing is especially important for gaming devs if they want to increase their engagement. And this is exactly what Minecraft did on Chrome OS. Mojang fully launched Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Chrome OS last June. And to make it happen, they had to make sure their game engine worked reliably across our whole fleet of Chromebooks, from entry-level Chromebooks to advanced gaming devices. They also tested and tweaked mouse and keyboard support to make sure the in-game experience was great, from in-game view controls to chatting to crafting. And they also had to make sure multiplayer worked really well for users joining from a local network or folks from external networks or other platforms. Feedback so far has been great. On average, Minecraft gamers are spending 80% more time per day when they're playing on Chromebooks versus Android mobile. If you're looking for some optimization inspiration or just love smashing blocks, check it out. And if you're here on site, you can do that on a big screen right over there in the Android demo booth. We have two new features to enhance gameplay on Chrome OS game controls and game capture. Game controls 
solve two input challenges on, on Chrome OS for touch only games. First of all, any time a user has peripherals attached to their device or they're on a Chromebook, they expect it to just work. So if they have a gamepad or external mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, and the game doesn't work, it just feels buggy. And secondly, some Chromebooks don't have touchscreens at all. So touch-only games are unplayable on those Chromebooks. To let users play touch-based games on Chromebooks without touchscreens, we launched game controls in 2022 on a limited set of titles. This went really well, and it required no developer lift. And now we're taking game controls to the next level by enabling user configurable game controls on any and all games in the Play Store. This provides an in-game editor that allows users to create and customize mappings from keyboard events to touch controls. Let's take a look at it in action. This is Super Mumble Quest. It's a touch-only game. So on Chromebooks without touchscreens, it was unplayable until now. With game control, users can open up the in-game editor, create a brand new control, and assign it to a specific area on the screen. And yeah. This is available in Chrome OS M125, which is in beta right now and uh, being stable soon. We're working on bringing this to gamepad and then mouse events as well. For casual and avid gamers alike, uh, sharing your in-game experiences is all part of the fun. And our second feature, Game Capture, does th just this. Gamers can grab video or screenshots, share them on social media, all without interrupting their game flow. Here you can see my colleague Matt playing, uh, starting up a capture session while playing Brotato. And while he battles all these aliens, Game Capture is going to record the results for posterity. Whether that ends in a glorious victory or an ignominious defeat. Letting players quickly share content like this is not just good for the gamers, but it can really amp up the height and excitement for your titles which can increase, uh, translate to increased reach and awareness. That's it for me. So thanks so much for listening to these updates. I'm going to hand this clicker back to Marisol to close us out. Thank you. Okay. Okay. It's incredible to reflect on all that we've achieved with our industry partners and our developer community. So thank you. Just for a quick recap, the latest Chromebooks that we rolled out with our OEM partners make powerful computing more widely available. And features like tab modes and native-like install experiences elevate web apps in Chrome OS. And testing improvements, debugging improvements, gaming capabilities enhancements mean that Android apps and games are more engaging than ever in Chrome OS. So we're committed to further improving developer tools and app experiences so everything you build shines in Chrome OS. To keep up with the latest, sign up to our newsletter. We'll send you top stories, release notes, documentation updates, case studies, and more once a quarter. You can also get new content straight into your reader by subscribing to our RSS feed. Our developer relations and partnership teams are always waiting to hear from you on gromas.dev. So keep bringing us your ideas, your innovation, and your ingenuity. That's how we'll continue shaping the future of Chrome OS. Thank you for your collaboration. We can't wait to see what's in store for us in the future. See you next time.